Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Real estate expert reveals what Harry and Meghan's Santa Barbara neighborhood is really like. If you were a royal who was free from the ties of an official and seemingly rigid, Roll and also had enough money to fund a rather lavish lifestyle, as well as professional opportunities and personal obligations, like a young son. To consider, where would you choose to live? That's exactly what Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had to consider when they stepped back from their duties as senior royals and left the UK and the royal family behind. While the pair first relocated to a massive home on the west coast of Canada, they then moved to Los Angeles before settling in the Montecito community, which is found in Santa Barbara, California. A source explained in August 2020, This is the first home either of them has ever owned. They intend to put down their roots in this house and the quiet community. The insider said, adding, this is where they want to bring Archie up, where they hope he can have as normal a life as possible. The source added that Harry and Meghan have thought about this carefully and researched it well, and this is the place where they plan to be happy, make good friends, and give Archie the chance to play with other children his age. Although specific details about Harry and Meghan's new house were kept private for security reasons, Eric Haskell, an estate agent at the agency, gave LMT Channel some exclusive insight into what their new city and their new neighborhood are really like. Harry and Meghan may never want to leave Santa Barbara. Los Angeles may not have suited Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, but they seem to have found their ideal home in Santa Barbara. May City on the coast of California, estate agent at the agency, Eric Haskell, pointed out to a lengthy channel that Santa Barbara is in close proximity to Los Angeles. That means that, in just an hour and a half, you can be in a major city which provides easy access to business opportunities and a metropolitan buzz. That will certainly suit the pair who have friends in Los Angeles and will surely appreciate the fact that they won't feel isolated yet can have nature, privacy, and peace at their doorstep. They'll also be able to appreciate the homes and architecture in Santa Barbara, which have soul and style, as well as the healthy lifestyle that the region offers thanks to the endless hiking paths that boast sweeping views of the ocean, mountains, and natural beauty. Haskell explained, In Santa Barbara, you also have access to world-class, farm-fresh dining, boutique shopping, and excellent schools. Given all this, even though it's a small town feel, it has all the perks of living in a metropolitan area. Our real estate expert added, In my opinion, they made a fantastic choice, and once they are settled, they will never want to leave. You'll likely agree when you find out more about the specific part of Santa Barbara, where Harry and Meghan are now living. This is why Montecito is the perfect home for Harry and Meghan, where you come from doesn't always allow to you predict where you'll end up, and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are certainly a prime example of that. Why do we say that? Well, consider the fact that Harry grew up in the UK's Kensington Palace, while Meghan Markle was renting a house in Toronto when they first met and began dating. As a married couple, they lived together in Frogmore Cottage a royal residence that can be found in Windsor, England. However, real estate expert Eric Haskell told LMT Channel that nowadays, Montecito is the perfect home for Harry and Meghan. Haskell praised the community that's located in Santa Barbara, saying that not only does it have big properties and room to roam, but it's one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Beyond that, it has a European aesthetic and pace of life, which certainly might appeal to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They'll also surely enjoy the fact that people are extremely nice and respectful in the area, and although there's a number of high-profile celebrities who own homes in the neighborhood, including Oprah Winfrey, Ellen DeGeneres, 
Portia de Rossi and Natalie Portman, Haskell says that there aren't a million paparazzi to bother them either. In fact, the stars in Monticito apparently all love the fact that they can blend in and enjoy a fairly normal life, which seems to be exactly what Harry and Meghan are aiming for. Another analysis is Queen Elizabeth upset with Meghan Markle for speaking out about U.S. politics. Royals have many privileges that most people will never get to experience. However, because of their position, royals also experience restrictions on what they can do. For example, one well-known restriction royals often abide by is the rule against political involvement. Royals usually do not vote in elections or share their thoughts on politics. Yet, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex recently spoke out about politics in the U.S., which has riled up a number of royal followers. But how does Queen Elizabeth feel about this situation? Is Her Majesty upset with Meghan? Meghan Markle was outspoken about politics before becoming a royal. Before Meghan joined the royal family in 2018, she was an actor best known for her role as Rachel Zane on Suits. During her acting days, Meghan was quite outspoken about humanitarian and political issues around the world. For example, ahead of the 2016 presidential election, Meghan appeared on the nightly show with Larry Wilmore and shared her thoughts on Donald Trump. Meghan said, Yes, of course, Trump is divisive. Think about female voters alone, right? I think it was in 2012, the Republican Party lost the female vote by 12 points. That is a huge number, and with as misogynistic as Trump is, and so vocal about it, that's a huge chunk of it. Meghan Markle recently urged Americans to vote in November 2020. After Meghan became a royal, she did not share her political views as much. However, Meghan and Prince Harry stepped down from being senior royals in early 2020, and it seems Meghan is now getting involved in politics a bit more. On August, Meghan attended Michelle Obama's When All Women Vote virtual event and urged people to vote in the upcoming presidential election. Meghan said, When I think about voting, and why this is so exceptionally important for all of us, I would frame it as we vote to honor all those who came before us and to protect those who will come after us, because that's what community is all about, and that's specifically what this election's all about," she added. As we look at things today, though it had taken decades longer for women of color to get the right to vote, even today, we are watching so many women in different communities who are marginalized still struggling to see that right come to fruition, and that is, it's just simply not okay. And we look at the attempts of voter suppression and what that's doing, it's all the more reason we need each of you to be out there supporting each other, to understand that this fight is worth fighting, and we all have to be out there mobilizing to have our voices heard. Towards the end of her speech, Meghan also noted that people who do not vote are complicit in perpetuating problems in society. She said, If we aren't part of the solution, we are part of the problem. If you aren't going out there and voting, then you're complicit. If you're complacent, you're complicit. Is Queen Elizabeth upset with Meghan Markle being involved in American politics? Although Meghan's recent speech is more bipartisan than what she shared about Trump in 2016, it is still considered a political move by critics. While we do not know for sure how Queen Elizabeth feels about this, Her Majesty's former butler, Grant Harold, reveals that the Queen is probably not concerned about what Meghan did. Harold said, I believe that the Queen would not be concerned either way, as they have stepped down from the royal family to pursue their own life and careers. So she would most likely say, this is a personal decision and it is up to her to do as she pleases. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff.
for coming soon subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.